Hey, so uh, I got this on Alibaba. It's only about 14 bucks right now, uh, including free shipping. Obviously, it'll take you forever to get here. But this is a simple battery capacity um, DC power detector. Um, so basically, this should tell us the capacity. You could tell us the current uh, amperage flow through the uh, from the battery, and it should also keep track of things like the amount of amperage uh, that's gone over time, the amount of amp hours. Um, and this is all came with in terms of you know stuff. It literally just came with this. There's nothing else. Um, the, it comes with some wires so you can supply external power, which it needs if there's uh, less than 30 volts in the battery. Um, and these are the instructions, right? So I tried this. I couldn't really get much inf useful information from this. It, it takes you to like a media fire. You can download some files, but I couldn't find any one file that seemed like a direct uh, installation kit for this. Um, but there are some decent uh, instructions on the website. Um, basically, the long, long and the short of it is uh, the positive from the from the battery should get wired here. Just a positive directly to the just a direct positive from this to the battery. Um, the negative the negative needs to come in here from the battery, and then from here this should go to your load. So in from the battery out to load, and as you'll notice, there's no positive for the load. So the load should go directly to the battery positive, and the negative should be in here and out here. And then connect these two wires to external power, and this thing should work. So yeah, um, it's also got Bluetooth. So let's check it out and see how it works. It looks pretty straightforward. Hey, so I hooked it up, and this is what we got. We've got the DC digital voltmeter. Uh, we have a positive input coming from the positive end of the 12 volt battery, and we have the negative from the battery going in here so this is the v negative in and this is the v negative out and i've connected that to another wire that's going into the inverter the inverter is also hooked up to the positive end of the battery so negative wire from here positive end going directly here okay so you can see that this has two this has one going into the dc meter and this is one going to the inverter whereas this just goes directly to the meter which also wires it out to the inverter Otherwise, because I'm only running 12 volts, I've got a power supply going to it of about 10 volts, and it's pulling almost no amps at all. So right now the inverter's on. You can see the inverter, even in standby mode, it's a pretty cheap inverter, uh, is pulling almost an amp. Turn it off, we go back to zero. So this thing is pretty accurate. It's saying it's, we're pulling no amps at all right now. Uh, I've got a voltmeter over here, so let's see how accurate it is when we turn on the, we're back up to 0.6. Let me turn on my voltmeter, my amp meter, going to zero. So you can see right here, we're at 0.6 right now. And if I check here, we're at 0.6. So pretty accurate. And now let's turn on my heat gun. See what happens to the amps. Amp spike, we're at around 24 amps. Let's check here again. And we're reading a little more than 24 amps. So there's about a half amp difference between these two, which, hey, not that bad, right? And we'll just turn this off. And uh, yeah, so that works pretty well. Uh, what's interesting is it keeps track of the amp hours over time. So you could easily, uh, you just hold this button and it resets that. So you could do a capacity check for these pretty easily. Uh, it's not gonna have any sort of low voltage disconnect, right? There's no way that there's a disconnect or a relay powerful enough or contact or powerful enough to disconnect an amp, 100 amps or something like that. So this, you know, you'd have to have a BMS with your battery. This is just rigged up for demonstration purposes, so there's no BMS. But if you've had a BMS or a disconnect on your inverter, for example, you can easily do a capacity check with this. It'd be pretty straightforward. What's also really cool is there's a Bluetooth app, um, which I can't believe it, but it works. Um, yeah, it's got the voltage right now, uh, 13 volts. Uh, it's got uh, the current pretty up to date. And, uh, you know, it's, it's got a little graph and everything. Um, it's uh, pretty spectacular. Uh, I, I'm really surprised. This is working on my iPhone. Uh, they have an Android app as well. Um, you can reset capacity. So let's see if I do that. If I reset capacity. Okay. Gives me a little warning. It resets it here and it resets it there. So you can totally control um, this controls that, which is really, really neat uh, for such a simple, uh, cheap thing. It's only about $14 on Alibaba right now. So this is on, and let me show you again what happens. We get a spike to 24, and you can see that happening right on here, right? We can see uh, immediately 24, and we see the little graph spiking right up there, which is pretty cool. And then when I turn it off, it's gonna immediately start to come back down, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I'm actually really impressed with this thing. I 
can't check because I just don't have the capacity right now to check if this can pull 100 amps. Um, I would be careful about doing 100 amps. I would probably stay below 80 amps. But otherwise, you know, uh, this little thing is really cool. I've got it just hooked up to a simple 12 volt battery um, and into a 12 volt inverter. It's pretty straightforward. As you can see, there's just three wires to hook up and then an external power supply. And if you're at higher than 30 volts, you don't even need the external power supply. And the, um, the Bluetooth app worked right out the gate. Uh, just installed it, it found it on the Bluetooth, connected and it worked. So for 14 bucks, if you wanted a battery monitor, something that'll just tell you what the voltage is and the amps amperage coming out of your battery and um, you know something that could even keep track of uh, your use, I mean, this thing is hard to beat. Uh, that's for Bluetooth. I guess you can keep the track of the price for kilowatt. Um, and you can have Chinese if you want Chinese, but you don't have to have it. So anyway, yeah, this thing is actually, it actually works and it's pretty cool. And even the Bluetooth works. So give it a try. Uh, I hope this was helpful. If you like it, please uh, like or subscribe or leave a comment below. Anything, any feedback at all would be really helpful. Thank you.